Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. Happy Holidays! My name is Sahar and today I'm going to show you how to do a holiday style cut crease. So if you like this look, keep watching! So to begin, the first thing I'm going to do is hydrate my face using the strobe liquid lotion from MAC Cosmetics. My face gets super dry in the winter and I really need to hydrate it before applying any type of makeup on top. On top of my lotion, I like to apply my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's the hydrating one, the blue one, but you can use any primer you like. On top of that, I will apply my favorite liquid to powder foundation in almond color from Emotives Cosmetics. I love this foundation because it gives me a really nice, full, flawless coverage and honestly, once I apply this on my face, it just melts right in and it gives me a really nice, even look. Next, I'm using my NARS Under Eye Concealer in the color Custard. <laughs> you can tell how much I love this stuff. Honestly, I love this concealer. It is far, far the best concealer for South Asian Middle Eastern skins. It has very good coverage, it's very lightweight, um, and it lasts pretty much all day. I don't have to retouch it up again and I honestly love it and no, nobody has paid me to say this. I actually really mean it. It's really great. You should definitely uh, purchase one if you can. So when it comes to highlighting and contouring, I always start by highlighting my face first and then I go in and contour after. I like to work backwards. <laughs> um, I always find that this way seems to work a lot better and it gives me a much more nicer, cleaner gradient effect when I'm doing the highlighting and contouring. So you want to go ahead and start lining all your areas on your face that you want to pop out. Once you have um, put those lines in, then you can go ahead and blend it out using a clean foundation brush. When you're blending your nose, make sure you use your fingers and blend it very softly. Now I'm going to start contouring my face, so for that I will need my angled foundation brush and I will use my Modus Cosmetics Cream Contour Palette in Fire, which will be the third color, so the medium dark. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit out and apply it on my face, so I'll create a line diagonally going down. So since I have a squared face, square to round face, I want my um, cheekbones or the lines I should say, I want them to come at an angle. So I will make that line just like that and I'll do that on this other side as well. Make sure the both sides are equal so look to the mirror in front of you and uh, make sure you check to see that they are both uh, equal. You don't want one cheek to be higher than the other. That's very important. So once you have that lined up then you can go ahead and also line the sides of your face and the jawline as well. And then also don't forget to do the bridge of your nose. Now my nose gets, uh, it starts off wide from the top, then it gets really, really thin, then it becomes really wide again. So I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to do thin from the top, wide from the middle, and then thin again from the bottom. So that's how I tweak my nose and make it look really, really thin. Now I like to add a little bit of that same color just underneath my lip. This helps uh, make the lips uh, pop out a bit more, makes it look bigger. And once you're done that, you can go ahead and start blending out your foundation or your contour, I should say, with your um, brush and also your uh, beauty blender. Now when you are blending out your contour around your forehead, you want to blend it into the hairline and slightly towards the center of your forehead. And then when you're doing your cheekbones, you want to blend it using um, very soft hand strokes and blending it upwards. Now when you get to your nose, just take your two fingers and squeeze your nose together and just blend that contour right into your foundation. If you feel like you have too much on, you can also take a little bit off and then re-blend it out. 
Now to set my foundation, I'm going to use my banana powder and apply it all over my face. This will also help set the contour and help it blend it in a lot better as well. Now that the face is all prepped, I'm going to start my eyes and before I put the eyeshadow, I'm priming my lids with my favorite Stray Don't Stay or wait, I got that backwards. It's Stay Don't Stray in Medium Deep from Benefits. I love this um, easy applicator it comes with. It just makes it so much easier and my eyeshadow stays in place. And honestly, it's, uh, you know, I have no problems with any fallouts. Whoops, I forgot to prep my lips. So I'm using my favorite lip treatment from Motives Cosmetics. I love this lip treatment. It's uh, It smells really nice. It plumps up my lips, removes any fine lines, and uh, it's really great for the winter. So I like to shadow in my eyebrows using Mahogany from Bobbi Brown. This gives me a much softer and natural eyebrow shape as opposed to the boxed out look. That's just my preference. Now to begin the cut crease, keep in mind that to get that effect you need to have that gradient looked so it goes from dark to light. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the lighter color first and the color I'm using here is Combust from Urban Decay from the Smoky Palette and I'm applying this color in my crease in both my eyes. By the way, I look so funny. I have no idea what I was singing while I was filming this video, but I was obviously having a little too much fun. Anyways, next color I'm using is Tease from the Urban Decay Palette in Naked 2 and I'm going to apply that directly in my crease and you want to basically blend both of these colors together. Then I'm using a plummy eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics. Again, you want to stay inside the crease and you want to um, create kind of like a line in the center of your crease and you want to just blend it out. So you're basically doing dark to light. Next, I'm just using that same plummy eyeshadow and just uh, bringing it underneath my eyes as well to create a C shape. So from the crease all the way down to under your eyes and just blend it out. Next, I'm using Sketch from MAC Cosmetics. And what I'm doing is I'm actually creating a line. And I'm sorry, my screen just went blurry there, but it'll get focused in a second. You're basically just going to create a line. And you can use some sort of a mixing medium from MAC Cosmetics as well to make the product a little bit more wet. And uh, it applies a lot nicer. And then once you have that line in your crease, you want to blend that line out into the gradient. So just remember, blend, 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 that is the uh, trick to get that uh, gradient effect. And uh, this could take some practice, so you know, don't get frustrated the first time you do it. Honestly, I sucked at it the first time I did it, and after doing it many, many times, I got better and better. So uh, don't give up. Just keep trying, and uh, you'll eventually get it. Next I'm using gel eyeliner and you can use any gel eyeliner but for this look I'm using the Black Track from MAC Cosmetics and I'm using an eyeliner brush and just creating a line again. So basically the same thing that we did before with the sketch eyeshadow, we're going to do the same thing with um, this uh, Black Track eyeliner and you're just creating a line right on top of the sketch line that you had created um, before. And once you create that line, you're going to use some black eyeshadow. In this case, I'm using Spirit Rock from Anastasia um, uh, palette. And I'm using that black eyeshadow and just going over it to help me blend out the, um, the line that I had just created. Once you're done applying the black eyeshadow, what you want to do is basically merge all those four or five eyeshadows that we used. You want to blend them in together and basically fuse them in so that you don't see any harsh lines in between. 
Now to really pop out those lids, I'm using Pink Champagne from the same palette, from the Anastasia palette, and I'm applying that all over my lids. Now I really love this color, it's fairly uh, vibrant and it really pops out when you apply it on your lids and it's quite glittery as well, so I just love, love, love this color. Now you know when it comes to eyeliner, I'm all about the 60s eyeliner, but for this cut crease look, I am going to keep my eyeliner on the thinner side just so you could actually see the cut crease a lot better on my lids. And um, so I am using a liquid eyeliner for this look, and the reason why I'm using a liquid liner as opposed to the gel eyeliner is because the liquid liner will glide really nicely and smoothly on top of this glittery eyeshadow. Um, and you don't want to use uh, gel eyeliner actually because the gel liner it's so thick it's a little bit hard to apply and you have to keep going back and forth to reapply and when you're doing that you're actually collecting more glitter from the eyeshadow and bringing it back into your black um, gel liner which actually uh, contaminates and dirties your uh, gel liner so I would avoid the gel liner and just use a liquid one for this specific look and especially if you're using a glittery eyeshadow So now that I'm done with the eyeliner and everything else, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put some mascara on. And then I'm going to put on some lashes. I love lashes. So the one I'm using for this look in particular is called Kim from Falsy Lashes. Just want to give them a big shout out. Thank you so much. I got a huge box full of mink lashes. I absolutely love them. They're great. And the reason why I like these ones specifically is that they're very curled. They're very wispy and full looking. I have a very hard time finding the right type of lashes for my eyes because my lids are so big. And every time I wear lashes, you can barely see them in photographs. All you see is just like my eyeliner. So now with these lashes, these mink lashes, um, you know, I can actually see my lashes, which is so nice for a change. <laughs> so thank you, Falsy Lashes. Um, their link is provided below if anyone is interested. Now I'm almost done my look, but not quite. Uh, when it comes to contouring, you know I love doing the cream contour and then finishing it off with a powder contour on top. I find that this technique really helps not only seal in the contour, but it actually helps to find it a lot better. So in this uh, look, I'm using the Kat Von D contour palette, and I'm pretty much using all the colors as I want that gradient effect on my cheekbones and around my face. Now, just to highlight the um, area underneath my eyes, I'm using the Becca Opal Highlighter and I'm applying that just above my cheekbones in the center, not too much. I just want to give it that natural glow. Now to complete the look, I'm using Spice Lip Liner to line my lip. I don't have a natural apex like other people, unfortunately. Um, they are very rounded, unfortunately, but I'm going to make some points on my apex and align the dots up. I'm going slightly above the natural lip line to give that fuller effect. Um, then basically I'm filling my lip with Velvet Teddy all over. Now to really bring out those lips, I'm going to add Angel from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to apply it only in the center part of my lips. 
and then I'm gonna add Meher from MAC Cosmetics as well and I'm going to put that on the sides of my lips. So this creates more of that natural ombre effect which will also help enhance your lip shape and will make your lips look slightly bigger than they naturally are. And there you go, my look is complete, holiday glam cut crease. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. But before I go, I must take some selfies. So I can post them on my Instagram page. Make sure you guys follow me there at Sahir Studio. If you guys want to see a list of all the products that I used, I will be posting it there. Please hit the button below on subscribe, subscribe to my channel. If you guys do, then I can share with you guys some more great tutorials. Please follow me on Twitter at Sahir Studio as well. And if you liked my hairstyle in this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to share with you my secrets on how I got this blow-dried look. Until next time, happy holidays. Take care.